This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. We're not your doctors. We're not giving medical advice. Methylene blue is a prescription drug with serious risks, including serotonin syndrome and hemolysis in people with G6PD deficiency. Don't self-experiment without professional supervision. If you're considering anything mentioned here, talk to a qualified healthcare professional first. Welcome to Biohack Stack. This is your go-to spot for weird science, sketchy molecules, and the hacks people whisper about on Reddit but are too terrified to tell their doctor. Remember, this is not medical advice. Don't sue us. I cannot afford malpractice insurance. Do you ever have one of those mornings where your brain feels like it's lagging half a step behind? Where your memory is dull and your mental pipes feel clogged with gunk? Maybe that's a little graphic for the finest piece of biomachinery in nature, but stick with me. Because one compound, methylene blue, has been hyped as a plumber for your brain. Flushing out the fog, sharpening recall, and yes, turning your pee bright smurf blue. Let's dive into the research. Methylene blue is one of the oldest molecules in medicine. Born in the 1800s as a textile dye, it was later repurposed for treating mehemoglobinemia, a rare blood oxygen disorder. Today, it's still sold in hospitals as Prove Blue, but outside the clinic, it's become a biohacker favorite for its supposed brain boosting and energy enhancing effects. First, methylene blue acts as a mitochondrial electron shuttle. It grabs electrons from NADH and NADPH and hands them directly to cytochrome C. This detour allows electrons to bypass weak spots in the electron transport chain, translating into more ATP when your cells are stressed. The second way it works is as a blood oxygen fixer. Methylene blue is reduced to leukomethylene blue by enzymes in your cells. And that reduced form converts hemoglobin back to its oxygen-loving state. Your cells stop gasping and your blood goes back to business. Third, it's a sneaky MAOA inhibitor. At very low concentrations, methylene blue stops MAOA from breaking down serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. That can feel like a boost, but if you mix it with SSRIs or other serotonergic drugs, it can spiral into serotonin syndrome. Fourth, it's a nitric oxide blocker. By shutting down nitric oxide synthase and soluble granulate cyclase, it tightens blood vessels. In the ICU, that can save lives. At home, it might just mean a strange pressure in your head. And finally, methylene blue is also a photosensitizer. When you hit it with red light around 660 nanometers in wavelength, it produces a reactive oxygen species that kills microbes. This is why researchers use it in antimicrobial photodynamic therapy. It's kind of like a laser sword for bacteria. And as for clinical studies, one small human trial gave participants a single oral dose of about four milligrams per kilogram. An hour later, their brain scans lit up and their memory retrieval was about 7% better. In Alzheimer's research, methylene blue derivatives like LMTM and HMTM are used to target tau tangles. Some trials show potential signals while others flop. The verdict is still undecided. In hospitals, methylene blue has been used to reduce post-op delirium and even reverse septic shock. These are serious medical uses, not weekend biohacks. So what do biohackers report? People experimenting with methylene blue often say mornings feel like their brain pipes have been unclogged. They describe sharper memory and fewer coffee jitters. Some users report a subtle mood lift, likening it to legal sunshine. But at higher doses, the fun turns sour with anxiety, headaches, and the creeping sense they might actually turn into a smurf. About its risks and safety. The biggest red flag is serotonin syndrome which can happen if methylene blue is combined with SSRIs or other serotonergic drugs. And for people with G6PD deficiency, methylene blue can make red blood cells fall apart, aka hemolysis. Another side effect is that it also interferes with pulse oximeters. It makes oxygen monitors scream at you when you're actually fine. And the dye can turn your urine, stool, 
and sometimes even your skin a bright blue. So remember, this is not fish oil. It's a prescription drug with real risks. In conclusion, methylene blue is a rare compound that straddles the line between ancient dye and modern biohack. It really does plug into your mitochondria. It really has shown a small memory boost in humans. And it can really slam you with serotonin sickness if you get reckless. It's a razor's edge between science fiction superpower and an ER visit. Respect it or skip it. If you want more deep dives into molecules that could hack your biology or blow it up, subscribe to Biohack Stack. And tell us in the comments, would you take this blue brain booster or is this one hack too risky? <laughs>